Evil All the victims were slashed to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve this weird scissor now. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, guys. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> we'll make it through this game of murder alive. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey everyone! Yeah, it's another one because I've just been starting new series back and forth. Yay! Um, yeah, this is a clock tower. See that awesome little do do do? Oh, the color changed. Oh, oh shit! That's cool. Um. Yeah, it's Clock Tower. This is the only one of the Clock Tower quote unquote games that I don't have on my channel. I think I might have on one of my charity stream videos, I might have like the first part, but I don't have the entire series. And also that was part of a charity thing where I didn't cut it out or cut it out as its own thing like I did with my Clock Tower 2. Um, so yeah. I'll finally be able to complete my collection. This is going to go alongside Skyrim and um, Call of Cthulhu. It was going to be Subnautica instead of Clock Tower, but um, apparently Subnautica Below Zero isn't finished yet. And I would rather do that as a Let's Play once I actually can finish it, like can actually get two credits, because I don't, I just don't want to do a Let's Play on something that's not finished. Or at least doesn't have end credits. But anyway, the game. Let's do it. Oh, and I'm going to be playing as Jennifer. Because this game actually has two completely different scenarios you can play. Well, mostly completely different scenarios you can play through. It depends on which character you're playing as, Helen or Jennifer. Um, the one that most people play through first is Helen. Because you actually have to know what you're doing to get Jennifer as a playable. Um, character, you have to talk to a specific character in the intro twice. Professor Bar and I do have a cheat Professor sheet for Bar how to get the best ending. What on earth are you doing, it's Professor? No spoilers on it. It's just a cheat like sheet. This. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. God, this is such old PlayStation One. the truth of what happened. <laughs> She can't take any more of this today, Professor. Wee! Her home. Curse her! All right. But remember one thing, Helen. Curse her, because it's point and click. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. From what I remember, there's not really that much voice acting in this game, so I'm going to be doing a lot of voice acting myself. Um, so yeah, we're playing as this derpy dude. I want to see the creepy thing. I want to see the creepy thing. I remember the creepy thing. Show me the creepy thing. A pair of scissors on the desk. Dun dun dun. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and by the way, like the the DNA of this and terms of development team, you have Clock Tower First Fear, Clock Tower this one, Clock Tower Struggle Within, and then Night Cry, because after Struggle Within the series um wasn't picked up again until the playstation 2 with clock tower 3 but that was made by a different development team and the clock tower 4 that is haunted ground also made by a different development team you didn't have the same development team or at least the same the original creators until night cry 
And oh my god, is this very, um, should we say... Resident, original Resident Evil in terms of jank. At least with the voice acting. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. They're talking about First Fear, which I do have a f um, video of Clock Tower First Fear, I believe. I beat it in like 35 minutes or something. <laughs> Jennifer Simpson, one of only two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Sure. Sure you do. And yeah, because it's point and click, you have less... Uh, control over your character. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm. The staff is still here. Cool. Uh, there's something specific you have to do before I let you... I think it's this TV? Or computer? I did, like, when I was testing this, I did play it. Um through this section just so I can make sure it's working properly because the strangest thing I am using an emulator I'm using the newest version of EPSXE um, but I'm also using the widescreen hack which is why it's in uh, widescreen but it's not all stretched like it normally is when you're doing emulation and widescreen mobile games I'm missing okay um, is it the mask Scissorman's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? <clears throat> Maybe. Talk to him again. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? <clears throat> I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Mmm, about that! <laughs> Scissorman, it'd be cool if he was- why would that be cool? Why would it be cool if a mythical serial killer was real? Don't- oh. Just realized it was off a little. Do not fantasize about serial killers. It's going to end poorly. Just a joke. <laughs> Joking about serial killers is generally not okay. <sighs> Doctor! <laughs> Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, I wonder. A statue. <laughs> clock Tower 2. It is cold, one of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It'd be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Oh, wait, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Helen's desk! I'm breaking into my coworker's desk. Awesome. Or I guess my assistant. A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize won at a fair. Okay, did I get your invisible freaking marker game? God damn it! Is there something I need to do in here? Nim -nim -nim. Game does not tell me what I need to do, but game requires that I do something. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. Harris has gone somewhere. He's fucking outside. I know where he is. Go through the dumbass door. God. Barton, you suck. <laughs> Fine, look at the mask again. Nope, it's not there. People buy stupid- people certainly buy stupid things! I mean, if you're into that. Do I have to talk to her again? Or do I have to go look at the stupid shit in his room? Oh, okay. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? No, they look completely different. Helen has bright-ass blonde hair, and Jennifer has black hair. Also, um, fun fact, well, less than fun fact, but a fact, there is a, actually, I'll finish reading this first. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. 
Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Rude. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. So, this game has two novels. Yes, this particular game has two novels. One is written from the Helen scenario. One is written of the Jennifer scenario. They're both in Japanese. Um, only the Helen one has been translated. The Jennifer one only has a plot synopsis translated. And they go into much, um, shall we say, more depth into the psychosis of the various characters. There is a lot of sexual undertones in parts of this game, but holy crap do they go into it in the novel. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. So if you don't talk to this guy, you'll play as Helen. I mean, if you don't, if you have to talk to him once. But if you only talk to him once, you'll play as Helen. If you talk to him again, you get, um, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Now you're going to play as Jennifer. It doesn't give you an actual, an actual character select screen. It's just based off of if you talk to this Harris guy once or twice. He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then, he's a creeper. He's a creeper. He's a creep, creep, creep. He's a creep, crap. He's a creep, creep. Click, click. <sighs> okay, place your bets now. How many times am I going to get stabbed by Scissor Man? Again, I don't have a walkthrough open. I just have a cheat sheet on the best ending. Like, what items I need to make sure I get in which scenarios. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo News. There, we're in Norway. My name is Nolan Campbell, and this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Half of this auto-scrolls and half of it doesn't. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? <laughs> is. I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks... Credibility! <laughs> and it scrolls really slow. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. So make sure that you keep in mind Jennifer is 15 in this game. We asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. Also, the cameraman has no camera, but he's holding it like as if he had one. That monster she was talking about, this is a man. And whether he really exists. I haven't even given these guys voices or not. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some old screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. Sh she thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There is something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Honestly, as a reporter. Sorry, I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Fuck this guy. I don't, I don't like Nolan. I do know the story of this game. I do not like Nolan. Expecting another survivor of the Clock Tower murders. He is supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. So, if you haven't watched my Clock Tower um, first fear let's play... There was only ever, in most of the um, endings, of, and these have multiple endings, just like all of the other Clock Tower style games, the first game only had up to two survivors. 
None of them were boys. In all but I think one ending, it was just Jennifer who survived, but there is a way that you can save one of her friends and there's two surviving. Um, it doesn't say which ending that this is canonically based on. I would assume it's the second to last, like second to best ending, so not the best ending of the previous game, but the one before that, because Jennifer survives, but her friend doesn't. Um, yeah, there was no male survivor of the first game. Just, just keep that in mind. It's, it's, it's not a fuck up or a retcon. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, that's right. I still need an expert opinion on this statue. Uh, yeah. Tell your dumbass assistant to go take it. <laughs> Professor, uh, the boy survived Clock Tower murders is here. There we go. He gets to have it in a million voice. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, statue. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian of the Metropolitan Library. <laughs> Slow scroll. Yes, but there was that old butler at the borough's mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first and see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris? Yes. Yes. All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? <laughs> Coral. <laughs> it's Rick Grise from Walking Dead. Suddenly zombies everywhere. Is that the statue that's on the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I should probably go to the therapy room. That's over here. Gotta go talk to a little boy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let that slide. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am Kay. An uh, or I am I am Kay. I am an instructor at the <laughs> Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Again, half of this is auto-scrolled. Does he remember his name? No. I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. <laughs> uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Yay. <laughs> and who are we playing as? Choose a save area. Oh god, did I set up my memory card? Cool. <laughs> Since it's a new emulator, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Did I completely forget to set up a memory card? <laughs> I guess it came with defaulted ones. Helen isn't home yet. Dot, dot, dot. I think I'll go out for a while. See, you you would see a cutscene of Helen instead of Jennifer here if you were playing as her. I might do Helen's scenario after this. We'll see how I feel. Where should I go? Go to Norway. <laughs> Norway International Hotel. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Norway International Hotel. If I remember correctly, I always thought that the first game took place in England. Like, that's where the Burroughs Mansion was. 
And when I first played this game, when I was, or watched my sister play this game, let's be real, when I was really, really little, I was like, wait, it's in Norway? <laughs> I was very confused for a while. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I'm Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. Kay! I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. After you went to the Hell House. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Dot, 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 dot. I was hoping you would be able to come to visit Edward. Please. Yes, that'll be fine. I'll come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> I can't do child voices to save my life. <laughs> Let's go see Helen. Let's go see the protagonist who's not the protagonist. University research, bilge. Because he couldn't write out building, so it's bilge. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Da, 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 Oh, right. I have to click on her. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got a bit... I've got to get it restored by tonight. Oh, I see. Please, leave the key in the usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. She, she talks to her guardian in such a weird way. <gasps> University staff housing. Huh? Someone's in front of the house! <gasps> oh, that's... Creepy stalker reporter guy. What is he doing in her bedroom? Okay, remember how I mentioned that Jennifer is 15? The character of Nolan is 26? I'm just gonna... Just, just keep those two ages in mind while you watch this Let's Play. Jennifer is 15. Nolan is 26. I'm pretty sure. I think he's 26. I know that he's in his mid to late 20s. You're the reporter that came to, to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I've been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. It's in her bedroom. <laughs> Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. I'm interested in you, too. Dot dot dot! <laughs> Fuck this guy. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Uh, well, uh, I'm an afebophile. <laughs> That's it. Both. Yes, both. An interview and a date. Gross. All right, then. <laughs> Let's go. No. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> He's 11 years older than her and she's still a child. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Nighttime is when Scissor Man comes out. It's very late. 
Someone seems to be following me. Run, bitch! <laughs> yeah, okay, or just fucking walk, nerd. Oh, I'm not controlling this. Hit new single, footsteps. <laughs> oh, but she's like, someone's following me! Don't see anybody following her. Hi! What's wrong? is following me hmm some kind of weirdo <laughs> <laughs> rip <laughs> lol where the fuck did he come from also run 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 faster dumbass go 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 they're being chased by the wars Don't kill me. Don't stab 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 me. You can't die in here. Am I good? Cool! I think. So that seems like a good place to end it. <laughs> My name is Miss Carla Tanager and I have been playing some Block Tower. I'll see you all in the next video.